sounds by an arts group from the sprawling Kibera slums. They are here on one mission to help demystify the myths surrounding the COVID-19 vaccine within the community. They use their dance to educate the area residents on the importance of following the measures that were put in place in order to protect themselves from the virus and encouraging more residents to show up for the job. Kwelimisha jami on COVID-19 na wale wajachukua vaccination, wanelek chukua vaccination ama waende vaccination Ndiposa waeze kufanya nini? Kujikinga kutokana na corona. Na watoto pia tunaimizwa, tuendeleku, nawa mikono, kusanitize, na tuvae mask. Sawa sawa. E, kama una mask, utakuja pale malituko, tutakupea mask for free. Jukibera watu nasema waezi nunua mask, wana pesa. So sito piana mask for free, tumesaidiwa na KCI na hizo mask, na tumepewa tupe community. Kibera slums is one of the slums that has been reporting low vaccination turn-ups. This is because of the propaganda going around in the streets and on social media misleading people on the vaccine, some of them being loss of eyesight and infertility among men, thus affecting the turn-up of people. Oh, sasa kama mimi ni mwanaume, hata venye nimechanjwa, mambo ya kuzaa hiyo, hata kama watu wanasema mambo ya kuzaa, bado hiyo wanasema tu lakini pande ya mwanaume wewe unaenda tu venye ulikuwa naendanga. Eh, hey, mimi venye nilichanjwa hata ukue tu na mwanamke uko tu sawa. Eh, hey, hapa haina shida. Eh, hey, sasa usiogope ati ukichanjwa unaweza kosa hapa unaweza kosa kukuwa na mama pamoja. Hata ukichanjwa unaanza unaendelea tu na maisha yako venye unaenda. Bora tu kuchoka ni one day tu hiyo siku moja. Kilometers away from Kamukunji, we meet Lilian Aoko, a health officer in the area who has taken the initiative upon herself to educate the area residents on the importance of the vaccine in fighting the virus. Ni chanjo hata ukidungwa, haina madhara yoyote. Na sirikali wamejaribu juu chini mpaka wameona wasaidie wananchi. Ningependa ujitokeze ule ambaye ujadungwa, uende udungwe kwa wakati huu ambaye hizi chanjo bado zinapatikana. Hizi chanjo ukienda kwa facility yoyote ya serikali utapewa bure bila malipo yoyote. Dr. Willis Akwale explains the main importance of being vaccinated as he says the youth should embrace vaccination more as they are the main carriers of the virus and the risk of them spreading it to other people is higher. So my message to the youth is they should not listen to any misinformation in the social media. The COVID-19 vaccines are safe they are good for themselves at this time it's a very good protection because also it doesn't mean that every youth who gets it cannot be admitted we still have people admitted so you need to protect yourself you need to protect your your parents and more important you need to contribute to the entire public health intervention by reducing transmission he says that even if the door-to-door -door campaign on the COVID vaccine was launched, it is costly and encourages people to go to the nearest health facilities near them to get the job. Deployment of COVID-19 vaccines in Kenya, there are various strategies. The most sustainable strategy is vaccination through the vaccination post. What we've done is that all our immunization posts, the ones that administer immunization for children, they are now all vaccinating, and the 4,000 of them. But we are scaling up to all, almost all public health facilities now will be able to vaccinate. What that means, the vaccine has been brought closer to any of the health facilities. Now, the door-to-door -door campaigns will be done, but they'll be targeted because they are costly and they are not sustainable. A total of 17,340,316 vaccines have been administered across the country. 7,961,613 are partially vaccinated, while 7,938,967 people fully vaccinated. Another 1,169,884 are doses administered to those between 15 to 17 years, while 269,852 are boosted doses. Nicole Mwanza for Ebru TV. Okay.